Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Sockbot, and today I'm going to be talking a bit about the upcoming early access thing for Dreams. Now, this isn't going to be an informative video at all, as I honestly have more questions than answers, but I wanted to make it to make sure that I put all of these questions and any that you guys might have in the comments down below into one video and one place on the internet. I don't mean if Media Molecules going to see this, perhaps, but uh, hey, if they don't, I will also be answering these questions entirely with speculation for your entertainment and or ability to say, hey, hey, you were wrong in a few months. And of course, when that happens, or when y'all correct me in general, or when this information becomes public, I will pin a comment down below with any updates. In the background here, I'm just going to be showing some work that I've been doing on my Christmas in February level since I'm completely out of footage for dreams at the moment. But if you do like hearing my voice, seeing my levels, or, you know, making comments about my appearance, please leave a like down below and have me to your subscriptions, you know, if you want to see more. But as always, no pressure at all. It's just, just good to see you. You guys, you guys seem nice. I'm pretty sure most of you are because I talked to you in the comments, but you know, like I said, no pressure. Anyways, let's get started with what we know so far about the early access. So we know now that Dreams is coming to the PlayStation Store in early access in the spring, and we know that that early access title basically means the beta with more codes and that it costs 30 bucks. What does that mean? Well, you're going to get access to all of the create tools alongside anything that the community has already made and posted. Now, as a creator, I am super excited for this, but I'm also not above the anxiety that comes with the bad press that this could cause. If, for example, and I have no idea if this is the case, I want to preface that and make sure you know that, but if the $30 for the game is completely unique to the early access, or in other words, if those of us who get early access have to pay another $60 on top of the $30 for the early access for the full game, that's messed up. I think that would cause a huge uproar in the community, I know I would be pissed, and I think that if Media Molecule is that detached from us, well, they need to get off of their high horse. That being said, I don't think this is going to be the case, and I want to reinforce that, again, we have no information as to what the separation between early access dreams and full dreams is going to be in terms of a purchase. My personal opinion, though, is that Media Molecule would not double charge us like this, as they want as many people as possible to play the game, and this would not only limit the amount of people willing to pay twice, but it would also, you know, piss people off, which is bad PR, which is bad for the game. So the possibilities outside of that are, one, the $30 will get you early access to the create tools and other creations even once the full game is released, and you will only need to pay $30 once it's released to upgrade to the full game when it does come out if you did have early access. This would be the best option for us, in my opinion, but I really doubt that is the case. So two, and this is another option that is possible, Media Molecule could sell the crate tools and the game separately, in general, even once the game is released. In this scenario, each would be about $30, and you wouldn't have to buy both, e.g. you could just buy the create tools and access to online levels, or just the story mode and access to online levels. This is possible, but fragmenting a product like this is kind of dangerous, and it could cause them to lose a lot of money from people who would normally buy the full-priced game, but are now just buying one of these, you know, PC half games. Again, making people pay twice, even if it adds up to a normal game, it's just a dangerous move. So then, what do you think this third magical option is? Well, obviously it's my personal prediction, um, but, you know, th that would make sense since I saved it for last. To explain, my prediction, and the third option here, is that when the early access is released, they will sell it alone and in a bundle. The bundle will include that early access dreams and the full game whenever it's released for around $70. This looks the best to me because in essence you're just paying $10 extra to have early access. But for Media Molecule, you're also committing to buying the full game when it does come out, which is going to stop the people who get bored in the beta from not actually buying the whole thing. There's a catch though, as they will still sell the beta alone, and I imagine that if they do sell it this way, Buying the early access alone and then not upgrading to the bundle before release will mean that you do have to pay the full $60 for the game on top of the $30 that you paid for just the early access. Again, this is not meant to steal your money, obviously. I imagine it is just Media Molecule's way of encouraging those who want early access to commit to buying the whole game. 
As someone who worked in sales and marketing for three years, I think this is the best model and the most fair to them and the most fair to us if we're to compromise. Obviously, I would love to pre-order the game and just get early access for free, but I doubt that's going to happen based on what they've said so far. And hey, I still love Media Molecule, so I'm down to give them an extra $10 to get the game early. Again though, this is just speculation. So moving on, let's talk release dates for fun. From what they said in the recent letter, the early access is basically the beta with some bug fixes. In essence, that means that it's almost ready, save working things over with Sony and the PlayStation Store. I imagine that is what they have been working on since they stopped streaming the beta though, so I'll bet that they released the early access in the very early spring, which would mean end of March. Now, Media Molecule does have a history of <clears throat> delays, but I think that those delays, given what we've seen so far, are more likely to affect the full game, since we haven't seen much of that since all of last year's trailers. So, I think we still have a bit of time, you know, to wait for that full game, and I really can't predict this one as accurately, but I'm gonna do it anyways, because... Uh, you know, recklessness is fun, but most early access games, if we're to base it on them, release a few weeks or maybe a month before the full title is released. But given what Media Molecule said in the letter, and again, their history of release dates, release dates, fleece dates, release dates, that's what I meant to say, I doubt the full Dreams is coming in April or even May. To be safe, I'm going to predict mid to end of July as of now, before the end of the summer in general I think is my best guess, and what I would predict to be our best guess, but it would be very weird for there to be a longer wait between the early access and the full release than just those few months. Again though, this is just speculation, it could happen, it could be shorter, or you know, anything in between. But all in all, I want to wrap up with a final opinion on whether this early access is a good idea for Media Molecule and a good idea for us. Given the type of game it is and how far along create mode is, I'm going to say that yes, it's definitely a good idea, but only under the assumption of the price model I talked about above. Getting us all to pre-order a game when we pay for early access is absolutely key, not only to, you know, not pissing us off, but also to make to like completely make sure that the buzz in our community does stay a buzzin'. If they decide to separate it from the story mode, a lot of creators are not gonna buy the final game, and that could kill a lot of buzz from the community when the game does finally come out, and obviously, there will be the biggest uproar we've seen yet if they charge another 60 on top of 30 like I said earlier. Do I think Dreams is worth $90? Hell yeah, but they need to make sure that that extra money, if they need to make it for some reason, is from DLC or something, because $90 is way too high for a lot of people, especially for the community that has been giving this game so much support while it's been, you know, delayed and delayed and delayed. Again, I doubt that's gonna happen. But hey, let me know what you guys think. If you're scared about the price of early access and the full game together being $90, let me hear it. And more importantly, let Media Molecule hear it. Don't complain, just explain. Explain your point in a well-worded tweet or on the livestream chat, or in the comments down below if they happen to see this. That way, if they were considering it, they will see you or, you know, maybe even me in this video. Hi, if you're watching. Hi. <clears throat> Anyways, that way, they will know where we stand. It's your game, Media Molecule, we're not going to be angry and annoying at you, well, well, we might be, some of us might be, but you know we're gonna buy the game regardless. So don't take this anger as it often comes out as us being pissed off and hating you. We just want the game to succeed as much as possible. We just want to send our knowledge or my knowledge your way so that together we can get this game into as many hands as possible, which I know will be the best possible scenario for all of us. But anyways, that's all I wanted to talk about today. I hope you all are doing well and I look forward to talking to you guys in the next video. But for now, goodbye my sweet kumquats. Don't worry, I'm definitely not gonna make that a thing. Kumquats, I don't even know what a kumquat is.